Hey, what up, guys? It's me again, bringing you another video. So, in this video, I'll be showing you guys something from level 40. And again, mine using the Unibrigger method. Let me go ahead and show you guys the deck list. So, yep. Yeah, this is pretty much the deck I used to form level 30. Um, and again, mine is pretty much exactly the same deck. If you guys haven't seen the deck, I mean, that video, um, I'll link it to that video. Check it out. Pretty much exact same deck. It should work. So guys, um, let me go over the cards and stack quick, quickly. So we're using the Hanabigiro um, method to farm level 40 again mine. You might use this to lock down your opponent monster. We have Secrets of Seer to help us draw cards. That's just to ensure us that some illusion is not the last card in the deck. Really good. We aim it to help us get out Hanabigiro from the deck. Really good. We're using the Prana Army. You can use Great Keeper, Keeper Vessel method if you want, but with the campaign bonus, doesn't really matter which method you use, you're still gonna get AK2 assessment. I'm running um two of controller. The reason I'm running this card is because um this is a really versus attack in this in this deck. You use it to stack your Honor Big Girl to free up space for your Prana army and some illusion life, so it's really good. I have two for consistency plus um in case one happened to be at the bottom of the deck, so I have two prevent that I'm running anti-metric arrow um so I could go for direct attack on the last turn without having having to worry about his back her back row so yeah guys this is really good if you have this for you storm in the video I'll be showing guys um I was using storm it should work if you have this card I'm using some illusion to help us get out fusion monster from next attack the fusion monster I'm using is who has ultimate dragon if you don't have this you can use master bars basically you want to set the second last turn use dimension hole balance it flip summon your summon illusion tribute tribute your honor big girl summon your blue eyes ultimate dragon use secret passage treasure on your prana army use gift of martyr on your blue eyes ultimate dragon and then use it on your prana army and then Go to battle phase, activate anti-magic L, and then go for direct attack. And if you've done everything correctly, you should get a successful win. While the cards are there, oh yeah, I'm running two part benevolence. This will um, add this card from his graveyard back to his her deck. Um, so this is better than jar greed. In the video I'm showing you guys, um, I was actually using jar greed. But I decided to add part benefits to that because um she have cards that take advantage of card in the graveyard, right? So if we by putting back the card in her deck, we're preventing her from using her effect, right? So this is pretty good. Plus this will help us ensure that our opponent will not deck up before us. Since we're running um prone on method, you might want to give our money right. Secret pass to each other to help us ensure that our attack get through. If you've done this, we use Big Ben Shot or Bow Shield. It should work. We still have Taco for that um, protection in case we don't open up with a Hunter Big Girl or Gravy early on. Really good. Same with Enchanted Javelin. So, yeah, there we go, guys. This is the deck to form level 30 and 40 Elegant Mine. Like I was saying earlier, if you haven't seen my level 30 farming video, check it out. Let me show you guys the duel we play. Like, I've been waiting for level 40 for the whole day, guys. Like. I've only seen her once, like seriously man, I've only seen level 40 once, I mostly see only level 30, yo. so yeah, let me show you guys the do replay guys, Um, I believe it's the first one, yeah I believe the first one, so in this do replay I was using Jar of Greed and Storm instead of Pound of Benevolence and Anti-Magic Air, right? So guys, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. The only three cards we need to worry about in her deck is um, Harpy, Harpus, um, Quill, and um, Special Mayobi. That's the only three cards we need to be worried about. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. But I need to worry about this card. But not this Harpy, Harpus. So pretty much summon your unhappy girl 
knock down your opponent monster pretty straightforward keep locking down your opponent monster so you want to ha have more than one Abigail on the field so that way even if she decides to destroy one of our on Abigail we still have one left right on the field here summon Raimi get on the deck get your third on Abigail say your jar of greed enchant Jevon keep locking down your opponent monsters summon your other Raimi this is glossy card I'll make it a glossy bonus here she summon her happy lady sister There we go guys. See it. It's pretty straightforward to keep locking down any monsters that she summoned. She has a lot of drawing power in this deck, that's why we have a lot of cards to prevent her from decking out. We have Jar of Grief, or Part of Benevolence, and we have a uh, this is here as well to keep locking down your opponent monsters keep managing your hands pretty straightforward surprisingly she haven't activated her trap card yet special mayobi pretty interesting She can return all our spell and trap cards. Well, this is one of the cards you need to worry about. Quirk Pan. Target two wind monsters in her graveyard and return one card to the hand. So that's why you want to have more than one Harbiga on the field. So that way, even if she decides to use that, we still have one card left, right? Ideally, I would add a third. I would summon a third on Harbiga. Just to be safe, right? You never know, yo. She could use that combo, Quill and Mayobi combo, yo. So, we're second last turn, right? You want to set some illusion, activate banish, activate dimension hole, banish it. So when you see one card left on your deck, you want to use that combo. Here, before you end the turn, you want to quickly activate enemy controller so you freed up a uh, monster slot right you want to free up monster slot, slot so you could summon your prana army and the your blue eyes ultimate dragon right so make sure you um use enemy controller and tribute your honor girl and take one of your opening monster right this is really important there we go here, your monster will return. Flip summon your summon illusion. Should be summon your for blue eye ultimate dragon. Use storm. Get rid of her back row. Surprisingly, she have not used her Mayovia. yet. So yeah, if you don't have storm, you can use some um, anti magic arrow. I prefer anti magic arrow. It's, it's much better. Yeah, on the last turn, you want to summon put on army. You secret pass and you put on the army. Use skip out that Martyr, use some blue eye ultimate dragon, and use some Pearl Army, and then go for the dark attack. Pretty straightforward, guys. There we go, guys. It's pretty easy, right? Yeah. Here, I'm gonna show you a case where um it doesn't go uh, the way you intended. So this is the case where sh the farming. It's, un it's unsuccessful. Basically, in this case, she will use Swarm and Field, and then she go for Lethal, right? I show you guys a scenario where she, she go for Lethal, right? Here, we didn't open up with a Unhappy Girl or Raimi. This is pretty bad. Here, she went off here. She, she gonna summon History Sign. Activate Hoppy Hunter Ground. Summon Kyokazi. Activate Enchant Javin. 
So if you open with this kind of hand, then the chance of you winning is pretty slim, right? I did it. You want to open up with um, I have a girl right off the bat. Yeah, she's going off you. I believe this is the turn where I lose, I believe. Or is it the farming turn? I'm not sure. Yep, this is the turn where I lose. As you can tell, thing went out go according to the plan, and in this case, I lost, right? She opened up with a freaking not opening hand, yeah? And plus, we didn't open up with an unhappy girl and any defensive card, so good game, yeah? So, in that instance, um, the farming didn't go successfully. So as you can tell, this deck is not 100% winner. There's gonna be a case where this kind of scenario is gonna happen. So, so you guys, I wanna show you guys that this could happen, but most of the time, um, you're gonna open up with a 100 girl or rainy, so it's pretty good. So guys, uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up and share the video. If you guys wanna see some new videos like this, subscribe to the channel. If you guys, um, want to see more videos like this um hopefully i can bring you guys um another map there i'm gonna see thing of i'll bring you guys um Labyrinth Therapy method or animus unite method we'll see you guys so yeah thank you for watching good luck with the farming see you then later